Okay, hey, how's it going? I'm Chuck Holton, and I am going to show you the difference now between a, an American-made cat tourniquet and the Russian knockoff of the cat tourniquet that I just bought here in Yerevan, Armenia. Uh, these things uh, cost right now about $29 a piece. These ones here in Armenia are about $8 a piece. So we're going to see if they stand up from a quality standpoint and kind of see what the differences are. Uh, I just took this one out of the, the wrapper. This one I have had for a while, so I've been using, um, you know, for practice and, and training and that sort of thing. Uh, so first of all, just to, I'm going to take the cover off of these. The, get the paperwork out of the way. The paperwork is all in Russian. Obviously, everything's in Russian uh, with this tourniquet. The windlass is quite a bit shorter and not as substantial as the windlass on the cat tourniquet. Um, it's got a different kind of a different style so instead of being it's, it's about half as long but it slides one direction or the other so you really don't need the entire length of the tourniquet like you do with the the cat tourniquet. Now this will be interesting to figure out how you're supposed to lock it down. Um, yeah, that'll be that'll be interesting. Okay, so um, the other difference is this Russian tourniquet has a marker on it that allows you. It's got like a clock on there, and it lets you uh, put like you know three o'clock, four o'clock, whatever. Uh, the time that the tourniquet was put on uh, so they can you can keep track as somebody goes to higher care um, as you take the open these up they're both made of about the same kind of uh, what is that denier or nylon material with uh, velcro uh, and i wouldn't say that there's much of a quality difference between the two of those the quality is really going to come in the buckles and the windlass. Uh, so the buckles here, I don't know, they look about the same, maybe a little bit, a little bit weaker. Um, I don't think it would be a substantial difference. Uh, but now I'm going to try, I'm going to see here what it would take uh, to put this thing on. We'll do some training with this. So uh, I'll put this on my leg here and... We'll tighten it down tight as we can go okay and if you start to turn this I might have made it too tight Interesting. Let's see how this works here. Looks like you have to push it back and forth. Maybe not. This is kind of strange. Obviously, I've never done one of these before, and so I'm trying to figure out how this works. Ah, maybe we do this. No. Twist it that way. Yeah, that actually works. I see. Okay. So this is going to work in a completely different way from the American one, it looks like. Let's see if I can tighten this up a little more. So if I get this as tight as I can.
here and then tighten it the rest of the way with this. Yeah, that is tightening up. And then it holds itself against your leg. Ah, you could keep tightening this. Ow. Ah. Uh, so I think that's how that works. You don't actually have to have the connector here uh, because you're not spinning it this way. You're spinning it that way. Fascinating. Very interesting. Uh, so I learned something every day. That is, that's a different kind of tourniquet for sure. Interesting. Um, okay, and and I don't uh, I don't feel like this thing is cheap or uh, low quality that it would break or anything like that. It just works differently than the cat tourniquet does. Um, I mean, you could probably keep turning it until it broke, but um, it's gonna probably break your leg before it breaks the tourniquet. Uh, these ones, actually, I, I feel like this is almost easier to turn because you've got more leverage on this central point than, than these ones where you're, you're turning like this, where you're turning it like clockwise. Um, I've used these a lot. I mean, obviously not for real, but in training. And you know, when you get down to the last few turns, this thing is, you know, you're working pretty hard on it. Uh, this one, actually, you get quite a bit more leverage on that central point doing it the other direction. Uh, so fascinating, really, really interesting tourniquet. Like I said, these are about $8 uh, a piece. These are like $29 a piece. I don't think they are uh, necessarily, I mean, that much different. This one, you have to have something to write with to put the time on. Uh, this one, you don't. You just have a little clock on there that you can turn. So that's the, that's the difference uh, between these two. Let me know what you think.